Good afternoon. Hello, everyone. My name is Linda Kerrigan Everts, and I am your statewide wellness coordinator and your presenter for today. Today's wellness webinar is titled Share Your Favorite Compliments. And the theme of November Wellness Daily To Do is to give a compliment to somebody today. So today's presentation will be approximately 25 minutes to give you time to get back to work. The agenda will be threefold. First, we're going to have you share your favorite compliments, as the title says. And also, I'm going to be sharing research on why compliments are good to get and to give. And to also share compliments you may not have thought of to give in the workplace to parents, to those who help others, children and teens, anyone who does hustle chores, and in many other occasions. Today's session is being recorded and will be put up on the Wellness Everyday website. Okay, let's roll. So I'm sure the title uh, inspired you to hit the registration button, and we're just going to start right out here. Um, this is a, a kind of a fun topic, and we just want you to share your favorite compliment that you like to give in the chat box. And we're gonna come back to this in the course of the time, but I would like you to keep your eye on the chat box to see if there are compliments that, A, that you would love to see, and I see that they are rolling. Oh my goodness, I love this. And if there's anything that you go, I would love to receive that. So here we go. We're going to start and give you some research. Oh, we're actually going to go to the Wellness Everyday website first. So just keep them coming. So if you're looking for ideas for compliments, I encourage you to download the Wellness Daily To Do for November. And on the back of this calendar, we share about 40 or 50 different compliments. And this is available at oer.ny.gov backslash wellness hyphen every day. If you're watching this live, today is November 8th. And we would encourage you to challenge yourself to compliment someone every day in November. Yes, put it on your to-do list. I'm going to compliment someone. And you're going to have several chances to do this every day. It's easy having a good day, but it is challenging when you're having a bad day. But I would say, if you can, just put it on that challenge that you could do something for November. We're in Thanksgiving month, we're in gratitude month, so let's just call it compliment month as well. So let's share some interesting research on compliments. So in our first study, Participants' brains were scanned using an MRI, and researchers discovered that receiving compliments led to similar activation in reward areas of the brain, similar as receiving monetary gifts. And I think that's cool, because when you hand someone money, that may be um, nice, that may make people feel good, but a compliment, a compliment showing in this study can be just as valuable. In another study, 48 healthy participants were trained on a sequential finger tapping task. Immediately after training, participants were divided into three groups according to whether they received praise for their own training performance, praise for another participant's performance, or no praise. The next day, the group that received the praise performed better on the task than others. So in other words, by giving compliments, we help others to learn and perform better. So receiving praise can really help our brain remember and keep the skill. Cool stuff. Okay, some interesting quotes that show a compliment can make a big difference comes from some pretty famous people. A sincere compliment is one of the most effective tools to teach and motivate others by Zig Ziglar. Too often, we underestimate the power of a touch, a smile, a kind word, a listening ear, an honest compliment, 
or the smallest act of caring, all of which have the potential to turn a life around. Thank you, Leo Bascalia. I can live two months on a good compliment, says Mark Twain. Everyone likes a compliment, Abe Lincoln. We have to quote Taylor Swift. People don't usually compliment our character. Compliment three people every day from H. Jackson Brown Jr. And from Joyce Meyer, it's very inexpensive to give a compliment. Okay, so let's dive into where we are right now. And this is at our workplace. So there's three different areas when you look at workplace compliments. You can compliment on skills, character, or actually on accomplishments. So just a few, thank you for your help with the project. It couldn't have done it without you. You have a great way of explaining things. You're an expert in your field. I always enjoy learning from you. Thanks for catching that mistake. I would have never found it. And then those character. Thank you for giving me honest feedback even when it's not what I want to hear. You're always putting the extra effort to get the job done. You're an incredibly reliable person. Thanks for consistently following through. You must be busy, but you're always available to help me and I really appreciate it. And the last on a compliment, your hard work is paying off. You're always putting in 110%. I know it's not easy. I know you could do it. You have a unique perspective and you're a great role model. Some often we go to the workplace and we go and we expect to be paid for what we put into our work. That's our salary and our benefits. But when it comes to compliments, these aren't expected, but they are extremely appreciated as you would know. So let's move on. So not only do um, subordinates like to get compliments, but I'm sure we have a few supervisors out there. And supervisors appreciate compliments as well. And it may be as simple as, thank you for listening to my concerns. Working with you has helped me grow professionally. Thank you for creating a comfortable work environment. I really appreciate your guidance. Thank you for being clear about your expectations. It's beneficial. Thank you for giving me honest and straightforward feedback. And then thank you for taking the time to hear my feedback on this approach. And really that can change um, how you're working with someone. So supervisory compliments are always nice to do and nice to give. And if you're a supervisor out there, do you receive compliments is a good question. And if you want to put that out there on the chat box, it would be interesting to let us know if, you, as a supervisor, you do receive them. Okay, let's dive in. So often, uh, we meet up with new parents. And the thing about parents is they're criticized often about how they deal with their children. And not enough do they hear compliments. So very simply, good job, mom or dad. Um, you're an amazing parent. I admire how you handle that. I know it's hard and that you're doing the best you can. I like how you speak to your children and then your children are so well behaved. Just simple things. As a stressed out mother in a, in a store with three kids and you can tell that she's having a difficult time, just a simple good job, mom, you're doing a great job, can change that person's whole day, especially when they're having that stress involved. So just a couple ideas for parents. So now I want you to change the, the, the comment to, what is your favorite compliment to receive? And that is a totally opposite. You like to give compliments, but when someone says, I would like to, when you get this compliment, you like that, it just feels good. So um, someone shared with me recently what a, a compliment, and it says you're making a difference in others' lives and being an inspiration. And that just, it just, gosh, it made my day. It just turned a, like a difficult morning into a much better. And if you're looking at the comments, you'll say you're helpful, you know, thank you for everything you do. You make my heart happy. You're doing a great job. You're so helpful. Just tune right into that chat box. 
it just really shows what everybody else is thinking out there. You're awesome. You bring kindness. I couldn't have done it without you. Uh, people tell me that I'm a nice person. I like to hear that. Yeah, that not that great? You did a great job. I love your smile. You have a caring spirit. Thank you so much. You're a great listener. I love working with you. You're the best boss I ever had. Whoa, that was a good one. <laughs> You're so thoughtful. Okay, keep looking at that chat box because they are pouring in. Compliments for those who help others. And you see this all the time, all the time. If you went to the, the polls last night, those people that sit there and they turn that book around, they're just volunteers. So compliments who those who help others, you're more helpful than you realize. You have no idea how much this means to me. Thank you for being there for me. Thank you for your service. Your hard work does not go overlooked and you should be thanked more often. And as we're scrolling through these compliments, don't forget to start writing them down because they're scrolling on the chat box, but they're also uh, right there on the PowerPoint. So I keep a compliments folder in my email and refer to it when I'm having a bad day. Wow, that says it right there. Uh, her whole uh, attitude can change after she reads her, comp her compliments. So cool, so cool. Okay, now if you're a parent out there, you have children, as we know, um, compliments are well received and they love them. And you really wanna compliment them on what they do. So I'm proud of you. I hope you are too. It's kind of twofold because it says, I'm proud of you, but you should also be proud of you too. Um, you have put a lot of effort into your homework and it shows. So sometimes it's not always they're doing great, but they're putting in that effort and that is important for them to hear that. I'm proud of you for something specific, very, very specific. You're such a great helper. Thanks you for doing what I asked. Wow, um, if I'm a parent and how many times have you asked so many times and they just do it, but then you forget to say, thank you for doing what I asked. I appreciate you being so thoughtful, so honest, so kind. Keep up the amazing work. When you make up your mind, nothing will stop you. Children and teens will soar when they hear a, a compliment that they probably didn't expect and they definitely deserved. Okay. All right, now, these are the people in the house that aren't usually appreciated and probably don't receive enough compliments. And I'm talking to everybody out there. So I make dinner often, my husband makes dinner not often, but when he says, thank you for making dinner tonight, I appreciate the time and effort that went into this delicious meal. And boy, does it, it takes a lot of work to shop, to chop, to, to cook, to bake, to put the plates on the thing. And some people just don't take, they take that for granted. And really, when you appreciate someone, it just makes them feel better. It really does. The house looks amazing. Wow, you spent the entire morning working and cleaning the house. And if it was just expected, then that's great. But the house looks amazing. If it, if it weren't for you, I, my husband did, sh this was a t one that I got from my husband. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have clean clothes. And he is right. He'd be wearing dirty clothes. So, um, and that was my hint to say, hmm, maybe you should be doing the laundry so I could have clean clothes. <laughs> Thank you for all you do for our family. Let me clean up. You did a great job on the meal. Relax. Whoa. Okay, fine. I will go sit and relax. <laughs> so just some good ones for people that do household chores. And I know if you're one of those out there, would you like to receive this? I know when I received it, it felt really good. The art of listening. You're a great listener. Thank you for listening as I really need someone today. 
I value the time you took to listen to me. I always feel heard and understood when I talk to you. Gosh, people have a gift of listening. And some people don't have the art of, of list, the, the art of just hearing and, and bringing that back to you. So sharing that information and sharing that compliment is such a good, good idea. Okay, receiving feedback is often not easy to hear, but instead of reacting neg negatively, which is often the way we do it, is respond with a compliment. And you may watch what happens. Thank you for giving me honest feedback, even when it's not when I want to hear it. And boy, that gives you humility, gives you kind of a, a pause because they're kind of sending back feedback. But then you may say, thank you for your honest feedback. And they may respond in a very different way. Compliments for many occasions. I'm so grateful for you. You are so kind. And these have been scrolling, obviously, in the chat box. Thank you for thinking about me on my special day. So often people wish you a happy birthday, a happy anniversary. And you're like, yeah, just thanks or thanks. But thank you for thinking about me on my special day. It means so much to be friends with you. You're so wonderful. Thank you for thinking about me. I value your opinion. I appreciate you. Your sense of humor always brightens my day. So I like to go back and I just want to scroll and you have the ability to scroll up if you want to read any of these. And there's just so many. There's so many that you have put out there about being from giving and receiving. And I just wanna share some that are, if you didn't catch them, I just wanna share some with you for the next couple couple minutes. Um, every night, I thank my honey for taking good care of me today. You look well today. It's so good to see you. You are a rock star. I like your hair. <laughs> thank you for being you. That's such a beautiful one. Thank you for your kindness. I appreciate your help. You are loved. Dinner was great. You're a valuable member of our team. Compliment how someone uh, you made my day. I appreciate your assistance. Great job. You look lovely today. You're so thoughtful. I don't know about you, but this just makes me want to do more compliments than just one today. I love your energy. That's a good one. Um, but you know, if you just want to go through this, this gives you more than I have ever given you today, which is so cool. So awesome. Definitely appreciate all of you being and all of you sharing all of that, because that's what makes these webinars is when you share that information, it's getting it from someone else and someone else that works for New York State. So I want to just give you some information on where this came from today. And I work for the Wellness Everyday Program inside New York State Work Life Services. And these programs are collaboration between New York State and the Public Employee Unions. And that consists of EAP, the 21 nine network childcare centers, the pre-retirement planning, and then Wellness Everyday. And we're available at oer.ny.gov backslash work hyphen life hyphen services. This is the Wellness Everyday website. And this is the website where we're going to be putting up this recording. So if you know someone wanted to see this presentation today and they weren't able to, then definitely share this information because it will be up on this website quite soon. Our EAP is 24-7, uh, 1-800-822-0244 by visiting oer.ny.gov backslash find hyphen EAP hyphen coordinator information assessment and referrals for New York State employees, how EAP can help crisis information, finding an EAP coordinator, self-help resources, and also stuff for supervisors. Work-life services is a labor management collaboration and is jointly funded by the state of New York and all the public employee unions. And I, that's it. That's 20 minutes of your day. And I hope that you loved it as much as I did. This was really cool. This was such a great idea for you to share as much information. 
And if you could, please share some type of compliment or comment in the chat box. We would definitely appreciate that. Uh, the next wellness webinar is going to be Wednesday, December 6th, and that's at 12 noon. And we're going to talk about 24 healthy habits to begin in 2024 that only take two minutes. So if you have any questions, uh, my name is Linda Kerrigan Everts, and my email is attached, linda.kerrigan everett at oer.ny.gov. Thank you so much. This concludes today's presentation, and I'll be hanging around for a couple minutes. But please go back up in that chat box and read what everybody put. Have a great day, everyone.